Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Digital Shake. We are going to continue with our speed optimization series and we have already covered a lot of things with lot of videos and I'm pretty sure that your website is becoming lightning fast and it's loading pretty quickly. So we have already talked about these necessary topics and we are under the free plugin section. We'll make two, three more videos in free plugin section and then we'll conclude it. Then we'll move on to these topics. But first in the free plugin section, we have already made video. I've already made videos on lazy load, server response type. And now it's time to talk about caching. Caching is something when you uh, save, save your website in a static website in a in browser or the server and then when the vis visitor revisits your page you the website is loaded from the cache rather than asking the server again for a fresh resources again for the fresh resources. this reduces load on your server and also it your website starts to load pretty quickly so this is one of the uh, most important and the best method to increase your website uh, to decrease your website loading time so but it, it becomes a bit complicated also so bear with me and watch the video till the end so you don't mess up with your site so we are, we are going to use caching and we'll apply a single free plugin to do our uh, caching thing so first of all I like you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button hit the bell button so that you don't miss any updates and I hope you are liking my videos so all right all right let's start the with the plugin go to plugins and click add new let's install a Although there are, could be just if you write caching, there would be uh, many plugins suggested for you. Although I have tried and tested most of them and all works fine up to a point. But I'm going to recommend you from my experience the best plugin and just write in here W3. I think this is the best free plugin out there when it comes to caching. So just click on install. I have already installed. Let's click activate. It has more than 1 million active installation. So that speaks for itself that it's a hugely popular plugin. So when you install and activate the plugin, you can go to either settings from here from the plugin section or there would be a tab, uh, tab added here performance tab and you can click on the different settings and go and change the settings from here directly. So we'll use this feature. Let's dashboard will just show the features. Uh, so let's go to general settings and do some settings for this caching thing. Fine. Try and do the things which I'm telling you to do. Many, I've got many comments. People are saying that the two plugins are conflicting. It will conflict if you enable a single feature on more than two plugins, more, more, more than a plugin. Suppose there's a lazy load feature and you enable it through two plugins. Obviously, it will have a conflict. Think about it. So do the settings as I told, tell you to do because that won't mess up with your sites. So let's do some good settings here page cache should be enabled it is default by uh, disabled so let's enable it and page cache method should be, should be disk enhanced in my case let's uh, talk about this in detail uh, for shared server the only two options are basic and enhanced the better one is enhanced so choose the one which is best for you all these options are not showing for me because i'm on a shared hosting server and these are for dedicated or multiple servers if you have uh, if you are on a dedicated server select the best option for you suppose the multiple servers redis would be the best option obviously it is the best option so disk enhanced for me minify okay we are not going to use this feature of w3 total cache we are going to install a separate plugin uh, and i'll talk about that later in the upcoming video but this plugin feature of minification is not that great so i'm we better avoid it for now so let's not enable it remember do not enable it okay opcode cache opcode zend opcode is the only option available for me so it, let's just enable that um, sorry database cache disable it don't uh, enable database cache don't enable object cache browser cache enable it yes browser cache enable it cdn if you have a purchased any of the cdn from these 
then what you need to do is click on enable and select the one which you have purchased from here all right if you haven't like i did not so just leave it blank or keep it disabled let's rest of the settings leave it to default let's move down a bit and let's go to miscellaneous where it says enable google page speed dashboard widget i want you to, to disable it if you want to show the Google PageSpeed analytics on your WordPress admin, then you can enable it and then you have you would need to put the API key here from where to get this. The link is already here. Just click on it and the process is quite simple. You would need to integrate your Google Page Analyt uh, Speed Insights to this uh, uh, plugin. But I highly recommend since it is not... Uh, since it is not, uh, what do you call, accurate most of the time. So I would like you to avoid it for your best okay verify re rewrite rule should be enabled uh, anonymously track usage this should be disabled after that uh, I think we have done most of the settings so let's click save all settings so this was the first tab which uh, general settings tab and we have already seen the features we need to enable and we need to disable next go to the next one the page cache feature let's see the settings here these are all tried and tested settings by the way so you're not going to mess up with your site if you enable each and everything it may break your website if it is lightweight website it may run uh, but I want you to follow the settings as I do okay page cache settings cache post paste yes don't cache front page yes we want that so leave it disabled cache feeds straight sites categories okay cache SSL HTTPS request okay one thing I would like to or tell you this that if you have checked that HTTPS SSL certificate is properly installed on your website including every pages and the WordPress admin as well see here I have this padding so then only enable this feature otherwise your site may break cache URI with query string variables no cache 404 pages no always 404 leave it don't uh, enable caching for 404 don't cache pages for logged in user yes pretty good because I'll be making the changes and I want to see the changes in real time so let's keep it enabled don't cache pages and also you can change here rest all the settings are looks pretty good to me let's move down and one of the most important settings for this plugin which you need to do is go to the advanced section and find compatibility mode and enable it it would be by default disabled because I deleted the plugin and reinstalled it. It's showing as enabled. So I what I want you to do is go to advanced section of page cache, compatibility mode and enable it. Please, please, please enable it. This is one of the most important settings you need to do in W3 Total Cache. Rest all, you can leave it to default and yes, click on save all settings for this page. Let's continue to our next step in performance that is minify we don't need that i have already to talked about it that we don't need minification from w3 total cache we'll install a separate plugin so let's avoid it for now database cache leave it object cache leave it browser cache yes we want to do some settings for browser cache and here you need to enable almost everything so just remember what you need to enable set last modified header yes expires header yes cache control header yes entity tag yes w3 total cache header yes enable http zip gzip compression yes broadly compression no i don't want you to enable it and remove query string from static resources yes don't set cookies for static files yes for process 404 errors no do not process uh, just leave it blank rewrite URL structure no L that's it when you do these settings it will all automatically take uh, for CSS HTML all the settings would be automatically uh, populated you won't need to do them separately so that's the s most of the settings that are best settings you you would need for W3 total cache and for me it has worked wonders and it is one of the best free plugins out there in my opinion so that's it for the settings obviously after the settings you may get this uh, update media query string because I have not made any changes it was already installed update media query string just click on it it will t just take one minute it will get updated and then what you can do is go to performance and click one 
purge all catches let deletes all catching and so that all the changes effectively takes place all the changes we made for the plugin then what you need to do is check your website all pages if they are working fine if any of the images of your website is breaking so that will be all for this video i think i hope you liked it uh, please share it like it any doubts do comment i'll reply as soon as possible and do subscribe to my video next video would be coming pretty soon thank you so much for watching